In the past five years, U.S. venture funds invested over $200 billion into climate change solutions. Although this might sound like great news, it's not actually going to solve the consequences of a changing climate. And I built this to explain why. It's a six foot long diorama made from 22 individual pieces of paper, hand drawn over the course of two weeks with the help of my friend Katie. Hey, I'm Katie. I'm 16 years old and I definitely need a shower. And this diorama tells a story of how a volatile climate disrupts one key resource, water. A volatile climate releases too much water in some places and too little water in others, which end up destroying crops, livelihoods, and homes. These disruptions cause people to migrate. And even though we may build walls to keep these problems away, these issues will inevitably spill over in the form of political instability, civil unrest, and in some cases, war. Migration affects us no matter where we live, whether it's here or here, because the world is deeply interconnected. But wait, you might be thinking, didn't you just say that $200 billion were invested into tackling climate change? The problem is that most of these investments are in expensive technologies like solar powered homes, industrial agriculture, and fancy electric cars. But they don't help those on the front lines who are exposed to these extreme weather events. But here's the real good news. We have a unique opportunity to fight both inequality and climate change at the same time. No way. We can invest in these communities to restore forests, mangroves, and wetlands. No way. We can equip them with technology to grow crops in dry areas and regenerate the soil. We can fight climate change, create jobs, and help people thrive. And it can be summarized in two words, climate equity. And what does that look like? Well, I'm actually working on that right now with my friend Katie, so stay tuned.